Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I am doing readings for this upcoming new moon in the sign of Virgo that's happening in the next couple days. Uh, the last video I showed off my Labradorite. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> But I called it something else, and now I can't remember what I called it, but... Yeah, I had a massive brain fart and forgot what this was called. But yeah, you can kind of see the blue flecks in it. It's kind of neat. Anyway, I'm going to be starting with the sign of Gemini. And then I'll be doing Taurus and Aries. I'm going to start shuffling now. One, one, one. If I see a number that sticks out to me, I'm going to say it in the reading. That way you can Google it to see what meaning it might have for you. Because the meaning that I have for one, one, one might not be the meaning that you have. For me, 111 is like a fresh start. Okay? Like taking the first step on a brand new journey. Okay, I'm still shuffling, guys. And I'm kind of just enjoying the breeze in the trees right now. Alright, what does Gemini need to know for this new moon in Virgo? Okay, I'm feeling it. Okay, this looks really good. We have the Eight of Wands. So, this could be fast movement. Wands are fire, and fire is uh, taking action. Um, this could also be uh, a lot of passionate communication going back and forth. But I'm getting really, this is really about taking action in regards to something. Like, there's some sort of, some sort of collaboration that maybe you would want to start, all right? And um, yeah, this is something, cause look, she's reaching. She's reaching for higher than, higher than herself. So this is quite a, for some of you, this is quite a big project that you're wanting to work on with others. And it's so big, in fact, it's such a big dream that you would have to work with others in order to accomplish it. Ace of Swords. Maybe this is a dream that you didn't quite know how to accomplish at first, but now everything, like that one last puzzle piece has fallen into place for you. All right, and that's what I see the Ace of Swords swords is for you right now is this one last epiphany that was needed so that you could see exactly how this can come to fruition all right 
Yeah, because we have King of Pentacles. This is a possible Earth sign energy. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn are the Earth signs. And they're the producers of the Zodiac, in my opinion. Um, some of them produce the raw material, Virgo. Some of them produce the legwork, Capricorn. And some of them just produce. <laughs> like, they just are the producer, right? Taurus. Uh, <laughs> so maybe you're producing something. That's really exciting. And some of you may want to look to see where these earth signs fall in your chart. Because the earth is when we bring things into the physical, right? Alright, the that's when we bring things into form. Into its fixed state. Alright, we've got Virgo... I almost want to say, I know that Cardinal is the initiator. But I almost want to say with this Virgo new moon that it's going to go Virgo, the raw material, Capricorn, the action, then Taurus, the finished product. Okay? Because, yeah, here we have it. Ten of Pentacles. Dang! <laughs> That's all I can say about this one. <laughs> it feels like you have figured out how to how to turn your ideas into gold. Um, yeah, you found your money maker. So go for it. Enjoy, Gemini. Congratulations. All right, seven eleven. Um, trying to remember who I'm doing next. Taurus. Okay. Yep. Hi, Taurus. I'm going to cut the deck really quick. I cut it just before I started this reading, but I'm feeling the need to cut it again. Just to sort of shake things up a bit. And I guess that would make sense that I'm doing that for you, Taurus, because you guys have Uranus in your sign. Or Uranus, I don't care. <laughs> Whichever way you want to say it. I think Uranus is pretty fun, but... Uranus sounds like it's more business, right? Maybe, like, um... Uranus is the stage name and Uranus is the business name? Okay, I'm shuffling. Alright, what does Taurus need to know for this new moon in Virgo? Virgo is trying your guys' sign because it's a fellow Earth sign, alright? It's mutable energy, alright? So, I'm getting this feeling in my gut like... I want to say a churning sensation. Almost like a cement mixer. Taurus. So maybe right now you are mixing the cement so that you can pour a concrete foundation for something. And this could be like a, a metaphor. Like mulling over different ideas and concepts in your mind. All right. Like a cement mixer in your mind? <laughs> that was lame, I know. I'm not apologizing for it though. Everyone says dad jokes are the best. I don't know. I've got some mom jokes. Okay. Starting to feel warm, Taurus. Okay, yep, it's getting sticky. Yep, coming in hot. Okay, let's deal these, these cards. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. I'm liking this so far. My moon is in Taurus, so. I always want you guys to have a good reading, you know? Because it applies to me in a way as well. Taurus is my 12th house, where my moon is. Yeah, sexy. That is one sexy card right there. I'm not gonna lie. Black Widow even. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Nine of Wands. So, dang. I'm getting two different... I'm getting two different vibes from this Nine of Wands lady, alright? I'm getting that she's a mover and a shaker. Alright, very fiery. Wands are fire. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be sign irrelevant. Alright? This lady is a mover and a shaker and she means business. Alright, she takes no prisoners. This could also be a Scorpio, okay? Let's just say Scorpio too, because Scorpios can be very fiery as well. It doesn't really matter. Sign irrelevant. This could be you, even, all right? But this might be somebody that you want to work with, okay? Somebody that has a lot of passion and drive. Okay, they're very passionate about what they do, and, but they're a little bit of a diva. I'm getting that they're sort of like, <laughs> this is one of my favorite Virgos, okay, Jack Black. He's kind of a diva though, right? Like even in, in his uh, movie Pick of Destiny, you see him like nitpicking at Kyle Gass when he's trying to um, compose some music. Almost like he nitpicks it to perfection, all right? So this could be a person who is particularly nitpicky. <laughs> this is starting to sound personal. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, I can be sort of a perfectionist as well. But, um, yeah, she, like, knows what she wants, and she knows how to get it, and she's, she's already got her, she's, like, already weaved her threads, okay? She knows how to, uh, it's almost like she's a master manifester. She weaves her web, and then she just catches, it just comes to her, okay? Whatever she wants... She speaks it, and it comes to her. This could be you, Taurus, especially with this Uranus energy in your in your sun. Okay, that could be turning you into a master manifester. You could be like just, and you guys are the sign of I have. You guys are the sign of I have. Okay, you guys are fixed Earth. Why, on Earth, have I not thought about that? Fixed Earth, okay? Things just... The Earth itself, the planet, does not need to do anything to attract anything to it. Sorry, I almost sneezed for a second, but then it went away. Um, the Earth just... Everything gravitates towards it. And things just happen on it and for it, okay? This person is a solid manifester because they have trust in their own magnetic abilities to attract the exact things that they want and need for whatever it is that they want or need or even desire, okay? Because this looks like a card of desire to me. Fire is desire. Okay, and look at this. We have the moon. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
It's almost like this 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 fella right here is drawn to her like like a moth to a flame. Wow. Yeah. So I'm kind of getting that this is somebody outside of you, Taurus. Somebody you want to work with. All right, this per this person right here is somebody you want to work with. She has sang her siren song, Taurus strength. Okay, we have card of Pisces or Cancer, card of Leo strength. She is the master because strength is a is a level of mastery. And the moon is also a body that has a gravitational force. It actually affects the earth, okay? All of the water on the earth is affected by the moon. Look at her, she's like belting out her desires to the universe. And it's just coming to her, all right? She doesn't, she's fearless. And she's also divinely protected and guided, all right? Even in this card right here. You may not always see the forces that she works with, but they are there nonetheless, right? We have two of wands. This can be either one of two things, Taurus. This can be you needing to make a decision to either trust the universe or trust this person or trust your, your own magnetism. Or this card signifies a coming together of two forces that are to be reckoned with. Okay? Yeah. That last one, that last one did it for me. And look, this, this lion's mouth is open. It's like, she, she speaks it and her wish is my command. And this could be you. This could be you, Taurus. This should be you, Taurus. So what are you gonna do about it? You've got Uranus in your sign. It's time to make a move, all right? And by make a move, I mean don't make a move. Speak it into existence and trust the universe. Trust your own magnetic ability. All right, fabulous. That was like the best, that one gives me chills right now. <laughs> I, I'm digging it. Okay, I'm putting the camera down because I'm gonna gather up the cards. It's time to shuffle for Aries. 1818. I have no idea what that number could mean, so it will have to be Googled for sure, but it stuck out to me. All right. Please let me know what Aries needs to know for this new moon in Virgo. I just got this urge to call you the great I am, Aries. Because that's who you are, period, all right? You are the sign of I am. So, if I feel the need to tell you that, maybe it's time to own up to it. 1919. I'm serious. Like, I'm almost getting angry right now just because I had to tell you that. Like, if there's an Aries out there that doesn't recognize who they are, that they are the great I am, I'm mad at you. <laughs> and I'm not sorry about it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My, my progressed uh, Mercury is conjunct my progressed sun in the 10th house and in the sign of Aries, so... Whenever I get into your Aries, or sorry, yeah, whenever I get into your Aries energy, I get a little mouthy.
Okay, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. 2020. Oh my gosh, guys. 2020. Really? 2020? Okay, I just got really excited. Like, stupid excited. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to pull an extra card because it's hot. Okay. And I didn't do this for anyone else. So, you guys are special to me. Obviously. Alright, so don't be upset that I got on to you at first. Or at least, you know, try not to be offended by that. <laughs> I have the giggles. What are, what are you guys doing to me with your energy right now? <gasps> okay, um, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, you guys have to be giddy about something. I think you guys have come into the realization of your self-worth and who you are. You know who the fuck you are, Aries, okay? So don't doubt it, like, ever, 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 ever. I never, ever, ever want to hear an Aries doubt who they are ever again. Never, ever, okay? <laughs> All right, we have, <laughs> we have Knight of Cups. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling a really romantic vibe from this. I'm feeling like maybe, just maybe, you guys feel like you are confident enough to pursue finding a partner, maybe? Or just even to get out yourself out there to date. Sorry, my brain is moving faster than my mouth wants to. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. You've been filling your own cup, Aries. That's exactly what you should be doing. I'm also getting that some of you have been channeling divine energy, okay? Your own divine energy from your own I am presence, right? Okay, the shadow is messing messing with the my ability to see these cards. Okay, there we go. That's better. Much better. Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting sort of a solemn vibe from this, okay? It's I'm feeling like you are really putting to rest. You are putting to rest all of your self doubt and all of your self worth issues. Like, you are no longer. Rest in peace, self-doubt. You are no longer going to sit in an energy where you don't realize just how much you are worth. Alright, Nine of Pentacles can also be a card of being single. Alright? So maybe in the past, you've dated. But you've allowed people to... I want to say belittle, be, belittle your worth, all right? And maybe it's because you've been really lonely, because I'm also getting a very lonely vibe from this card, okay? You've been really lonely. So yeah, you need to put all of these self-confidence issues to rest. I just heard bling bling, guys. So, some of you need to balance your budget better, okay? So that you have a little bit of money stashed away that is for the sole purpose of treating yourself the way that you deserve to be treated, okay? And that includes buying things for yourself that make you feel like you are an important person to yourself. All right? It doesn't even have to be ostentatious, an ostentatious display of wealth. It can be something as simple as buying a piece of jewelry or some clothes that remind you 
of who you are and what you're worth. All right? Final card is Knight of Pentacles. Yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. This Knight of Pentacles, he knows exactly what he's worth. He doesn't settle for anything less than what he deserves. Okay, if somebody even tries to have a vision of him that doesn't live up to his knowledge of what he knows he is, he dismisses them. They're nothing to him anymore. All right? He doesn't let people trample on him. Congratulations, Aries. I wish you the best. I hope you guys all have a wonderful new moon in Virgo experience. I will talk to you all later. Bye!